What if I told you that you could have volume and curl definition? Come here. You can. It's true, you can, and I'm gonna show you how. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Alyssa Marie, and I'm so happy that you're here. So today, I'm really excited to share with you guys my current wash day routine. This is an updated wash day routine with my current favorite products at the moment, products that I'm obsessed with. I mean, I'm talking about products that literally live in my bathroom, okay? Not in the storage facilities in my studio, in my office, no. They live with me in my bathroom. So this is like legit my go-to products, what I'm using day in, day out, in order to get curls that are happy and healthy and just beautiful, okay? We're talking definition and volume, we're talking shine, and we're talking not only curls that look good but curls that feel really good and are moisturized and curls that are going to last you throughout the week so if you're interested in seeing exactly how I achieved these results right here then just continue to watch all right so I am starting off with pretty dry hair I mean it's not terrible it's not a crazy state or anything but it's been a little bit manipulated abused and just you know, played around with a little bit this week due to my Halloween looks. So you can see that I currently have the Curlsmith hair makeup in here. You guys will actually get to see how easily this is just gonna wash right out of my hair. So let's go ahead and jump in. So first I'm just gonna go ahead and start by rinsing out my hair. I'm just gonna let the water kind of run through and give this color the first kind of opportunity to just rinse out with the water on its own. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my As I Am Coconut Co-Wash. This is currently my top number one favorite co-wash. I just love the fact that it is so creamy and juicy and it really has a good amount of slip so I take the time to actually comb this through my hair in small sections. So I kind of use this step to cleanse and also detangle. I do still very much prefer finger detangling my hair because it is literally the best thing for my curls. I don't know why, it's just my curls really much prefer when I finger detangle as opposed to using like a comb or a brush. With this co-wash, it's actually adding a lot of more moisture right back into my curls like that's really the main reason why I just love this co-wash so much cleansing and moisturizing is the bombs.com once the co-wash has been evenly distributed throughout my entire hair and I have a fully detangled head of hair I'm then going ahead to grab my shampoo so I'm really loving this one by Shea Moisture this is their power greens shampoo so before I actually rinse out the co-wash I'm gonna go ahead and just apply a little bit of the shampoo just directly to my scalp I never add shampoo directly to the rest of my hair it's usually more just for like an extra step a deeper clean for my scalp scalp massages are great I really go in with my scalp massages just because not only does it feel good but massaging your scalp helps to encourage blood flow back to the scalp and that really can help to encourage hair growth and just promote like a really nice and healthy scalp so I really do enjoy the scalp massage as you can see and once that has fully foamed up and I've like reached all areas of the scalp then I'm just gonna go ahead and wash everything out I don't use shampoo for my scalp every single time I wash this is something that I just do like one once or maybe twice a month and that's it. Can we also take a quick second to appreciate this length though? So next is time to deep condition. This is something that I do on a weekly basis and I never skip this. Lately, I've been loving mixing conditioners. So here I'm mixing the Curlsmith Double Cream Deep Quencher with a little bit of the Brio Geo Don't Despair Repair Mask. This is probably my number one tip. Don't skip your deep conditioning days, okay? Just pick a day and do it every single week. I promise you, your curls will love you for it. I'm just applying this through my hair in sections and just making sure to really comb it through and just making sure that every single strand is nice and saturated with these deep conditioners. I am focusing a little bit more on moisture for this particular wash day, but I didn't want to fully go without protein, so that's why I decided to use a little bit of the Brio Geo mask as well. So majority curl smith, little bit of Brio Geo for this wash day. Once both deep conditioners have been fully applied throughout my head of hair, I'm just gonna go ahead and twist my hair just into four separate twists. I find that this just takes my deep conditioning to the next level, and it really helps with encouraging additional curl definition as well. I'm just gonna go ahead and put on a shower cap, and then I just go ahead and finish up the rest of my body care and skincare in the shower. 
All right, so I'm back out of the shower, nice and ready to deal with the rest of this hair routine. So I decided to leave my deep conditioners in just a little bit longer, just so they had a little bit of extra time to do what they need to do. So let me just go ahead and show you exactly how we are looking now. Yeah, do you see this already? You can see how the twist has already just like really encouraged curl definition. Mm, so good. So good. Look at these juicy curls. Ooh, yes. All right, so this is how we are looking. Moisturized. I feel like my curls already kind of have a little bit of a shine to them right now. But we already knew that this was going to be amazing because, again, I swear by all of these products. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is just rinse out my hair, not fully, I'm gonna leave like a little bit of it in my hair. And I'm also gonna use cool water to do so. That's another like really special tip. Cold water is gonna help to like close your shaft a little bit. So all the nutrients will still be like in the hair shaft where they're supposed to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a cool water rinse and I'll be right back so we can get into styling. Ta -da! Okay, quickest rinse out ever. <laughs> Let's get into some styling products. So I'm just gonna start as always by sectioning out my hair. So first I'm going in with my little DIY spray. This is just a mixture of water and the Maui Moisture Awa Puhi Conditioner. It just smells so, so good. So I really love using that conditioner for this DIY spray. I'm just adding a little bit of water back to my curls because I love for my hair to be literally soaking dripping wet when I'm styling my wash and go. I feel like I get the most popping curls, the most curl definition, and the most shine, all of the above. Like my hair just works the best when I style it when it is dripping wet. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Like quite literally dripping. So first we're gonna go in with a leave-in conditioner. The one that I've been loving so much lately is this one by Maui Moisture. This is their Shea Butter Combing Cream. Literally so perfect, especially if you have super dry hair. It's just something about this leave-in conditioner. It just really is just, oh, it's just so juicy. It is just really, really moisturizing and hydrating. It's just amazing. Once the leave-in has been fully combed through, yes, I am adding a little bit of additional water. My hair dries fast. Okay, I step out the shower and that thing is like poof, dry. So that's kind of a reason why I really like using my next product, which is gonna be the Shea Moisture Curl Mousse. This is the best mousse out there, in my opinion. It works the best for my curls. I have tried so many different mousses and I've noticed that some of them actually can make my curls feel dry and like just not nice. This is perfect, it doesn't do that. And I also, as you guys have seen in other videos, I love to use this to refresh my curls as well. So this is just basically a little bit of magic in a bottle and I always make sure I have a spare bottle on hand so I never run out of this stuff. So one of the reasons why I like mousse in general is because it helps to keep the curls nice and slick and wet for styling. And because of the consistency of it, the airiness, the foaminess, it really actually helps to encourage volume and it also kind of helps to make my hair dry a little bit quicker. So I just use like a couple pumps per section. It just kind of preps the curls and now they're nice and ready to receive some gel. My favorite go-to gel at the moment is by We Dad. So I have two different versions of the product here. They're both the same thing. So they're both the heat and humidity gel. But this one is the regular one, and this one is actually the stronger hold. Now I have to say, I don't like crunchy curls. I love curl definition, but I don't like crunchy curls, and I feel like this gives me curl definition without the super crunch. So because I do have a little bit left of this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and try and kinda finish it off. So I'm gonna go in with the regular one just comb it through my curls and then I also kind of like using the prayer hand method just like that kind of smooth it on through to make sure that my curls are like evenly coated with all of this product I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the stronger hold now just like a teaser it's a very small amount just kind of comb that through on top so now I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat those same steps to my other sections Look at that, look at that. Look at that curl definition and that's just from the mousse. Like, it just preps in the right way for some gel.
If you're going for a lot of curl definition, you kind of want to make sure that you're doing like smaller sections at a time. Like that is especially important if you have super thick curly hair like me. Don't worry if when you're using the mousse it kind of like gets a little white like this, don't worry at all. As it dries, that completely goes away. And I also don't ever have a problem with flaking either. So don't be alarmed at the white, it's gonna go completely away once it's dry. All right, so once the whole head of hair is fully saturated with products, I'm just going back in with a little bit of the additional Stronger Hold We Dad Gel and focusing it right here in the front to make sure these roots are gonna be nice and defined as well. Then I'm just gonna kinda shake my head upside down and scratch. All right, so we are actually not done. There is one more step to do and one more product and that is Da, 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 my Camille Rose Curl Maker. I like to call this my finisher product because I don't like to use too much or else my hair will get like super crunchy, which is what we're trying to avoid. But I do love it because it gives like insane hold, it keeps frizz away, and it also gives intense shine. So I like to use this as like a little finisher on top to make sure we're sealing in everything. For this product, it is very jelly-like, goopy-like, like you can see, look at that. So make sure to spend some time like warming this product up in your hands. This will help to avoid flaking and like clumping of the product in your hair. So it's nice and rubbed in and I'm just going to literally just rub it in on top. I'm also gonna put a little bit more, flip my head over and then scrunch it in at the ends. So you can see we do have some whiteness in the front, but once again, don't worry about that because as it dries, it's gonna go away. What we need to focus on is this curl definition. It is there, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be super crunchy, but it feels like the definition is there to stay. It's gonna last, okay? This feels really, really good. I mean, there you. there is a really good texture shot, y'all yeah, honey. All right, so we're done with styling and now I just need to kind of set my hair in the right place to dry. So I always kind of shake it forward, let the bangs come forward, and then I will just kind of lightly move my bangs to the side so I can see and boom, this is it. This is how I let my hair dry. So lately I've really been enjoying my curls when they air dry. I don't know, it's just a different type of curl. It just feels a little bit happier and a little bit healthier. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this air dry and then I'll meet you guys back in the studio so you guys can see the final fully dry pop in results. All right, my hair is finally fully dry. It is a few hours later. I haven't, I literally have not done anything to it. And these are the results. I'm not even shocked because these are already my go-to. So I already knew that the juice was gonna be there. Do you guys see this level of shine? My curls are so insanely shiny. From the deep conditioners that we use to the curl maker at the end, like, girl, they're shiny, they feel good, and guess what, they are not crunchy, like not even in the slightest. They are just nice and defined and super cute. And then we still have a little bit of body going on here. I know, of course, it's not usually as much as you guys are used to seeing me with, so I'm gonna show you exactly how I kind of fluff it out a little bit. But also over the next couple of days, day two, three, four onwards, it's obviously gonna grow bigger and bigger in size as well. So that's the really fun thing about having curly hair too, because you know, you put in all the effort on washing, you know it's gonna be a little bit smaller, but day two, day three, day four, just keeps getting better as it gets bigger. It's just, it's amazing. So let me go ahead ahead and show you guys exactly how I deal with my bangs because obviously you know that's still a little bit of an issue and how I get a teensy bit more body a little bit more volume here on day one so basically I'm just gonna kind of finagle it here so I'm just kind of fluffing out my roots here all right so now I'm just gonna grab a pick and I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of stick it in and fluff it up I'm even gonna kind of go from underneath and really like lift up these roots 
and you see that's literally what I do to get my bangs to lift a little bit and then what I like to do is kind of fluff out the sides here so usually when the side here is like nice and fluffed out that's really what will give you majority of that volume that bada bang kind of look you know especially for the cut that I have this is really where the magic happens like right here then I'm just gonna also take the pick here kind of pump that up a little bit like look at the difference there <laughs> hello hi no good night you know what I mean like it, it makes a huge difference and then this way you can still get your volume but you still have your curl definition and you also still have your length here at the bottom this is one of the things that I really love about this cut all right, and there's also one more, one more last little thing that I will do on day one for bomb wash day, and this is the final product that I will use. This is a scalp product. So this is by Briogeo. This is their Scalp Revival Charcoal and Tea Tree Scalp Treatment. So, so good, and I know a lot of you on here like to co-wash, so this is gonna be especially good for you if you co-wash, because sometimes you can get a little bit of added buildup on your scalp, and this really helps to avoid a little bit of that buildup with the charcoal. It just helps to balance your scalp a little bit. The tea tree oil will really treat your scalp and like moisturize and make it feel nice, and it also has biotin in here, so that will also help to encourage hair growth. So this is really, really bomb. This is a recent addition, but oh my gosh, I cannot live without it. So all you do is once your hair is like fully dry, you're supposed to do this on like day one of your wash day because it's meant to be a treatment that just stays in there until your next wash. So I literally just go in with a dropper and just apply it directly to my scalp. It's like super easy to use. And when I tell you effective, it is literally so good. So if you ever find that, you know, your scalp feels a little bit more itchy than normal, this, is gonna be amazing for you. Even if you feel like you just wanna encourage additional growth, like here in the front, you can add a little bit to the front so your edges can get a little bit of love too. Once the product is fully applied, I just go in, ooh, and give myself a really nice scalp massage. Ah, oh, so good. That will just help to really get that product sunken into your scalp. Ooh, and it feels so good again with the scalp massage oh, so good so good it literally just oh my gosh it feels amazing like it's not like my scalp was feeling bad before but now it just feels amazing <laughs> probably should have done that before we like shaped the hair but you know it's fine it's fine all right so that is basically it these are all my current favorite products and my current like in-depth wash day routine for the most perfect beautiful happy curls i 10 out of 10 recommend all the products that i mentioned in this video seriously they are all cruelty free they are all list approved obviously and yeah i genuinely absolutely love them and i've linked all of them below in the description box for you just in case you want to go ahead and check them out so yeah guys that's it for this video i really hope that you guys found this useful if you did go ahead and make sure you give your girl a little thumbs up and also if you're new please do consider subscribing if you like what you see i promise we have a lot of fun over here and you are not going to regret joining the curl squad thank you guys so much for watching i will catch you in the next one bye